Hey there folks, I am back with another Little Cup Box Roulette giveaway battle where I choose six random Pokemon of mine that are Little Cup and give them to my opponent and then choose six of my Pokemon at random um, for myself to use and then we go head to head with me against my own Pokemon. But it's a great way, it seems, to get people involved in Little Cup and get them some uh, Pokemon that they didn't have to breed themselves. So uh, my opponent is the Shadow Empoleon and uh, he's got a team of all threats. So basically what I do, uh, I'm going to be upfront about this. Um, I generate the two teams, and before and I decide which one my opponent gets by which one is better, uh, which one has the, uh, the bigger threats. And this one had Chinchou and um, Mindfu, and I thought, yeah, that's the bigger threat. So he leads off with Cublet, who I've never actually had a chance to use in battle myself. I just, I, I bred it, and then I was like, no, it's too cute! I can't let it battle and die! And now I'm, I'm like up against it, I'm like, I don't want to kill it! I don't want to kill it! But he switches out, and so it's fine. So, um, out, I dig in my rocks up and now out is going to be IBM. Uh, yeah, so we got IBM too. I can't remember whether this is the... so there, I have two builds of this. One has 21 HP, one has 19 for life orb. And I, I'm not sure which one he got. Um, anytime anyone asks for it, pretty much everyone wants the 21 HP one, which makes sense because, you know, uh, basically I've seen a lot of Scarf Ponyards lately and I have no idea why because I don't think Scarf Ponyard is actually that good. But anyway, so he goes to the Iron Head. Um, gonna take out Hermione. Not a problem. Uh, Hermione is down, and uh, he gets the first KO of the match. Um, and I don't see a life orb, so I am assuming that this guy was a 21 HP one. So I, I send out Marcel here. Um, you know, easily gonna scare him out. I actually, so the last time you saw Marcel it was someone else's. It was on someone else's team, um, or I gave it to someone else, and. Um, it had Focus Sash, and it was bluffing the Scarf. This time, I'm actually running the Scarf, because I realized, actually, I think I, you know, Scarf is actually kind of nice on this guy, uh, especially to deal with a lot of the faster threats in uh, in Little Cup these days. So I go now out into Blake against my Minimus. Uh, yeah, Minimus, huge, huge, huge threat, and I saw that, I was like, I can't, I can't use... Uh, the team that I generated for him, I was like, I can't use that team. I would just wreck everything with it. So I go... Uh, um, Blake is still banded. You might remember him from Gen 5. Never did a good job. Um, banded Flare, Flare Blitz actually did a decent chunk of damage. So, But he is banded, so I'm going to have to switch out. Yeah, and that's, and that's against the Chinchou. I don't remember what the, what the, the rest, um, rest Talk Chinchou. Uh, yeah, so it is the Rest Talk Chinchou. So that's a bold Chinchou. That did a huge chunk to a bold frickin' Chinchou. So now I send out um, Surskit. I am actually gonna set up the Sticky Web because he, uh, he does have the Ponyard and Ponyard love, love, love Sticky Web. But even so, I think this is a good idea. I still think this is a good idea. So out's gonna come Cublet again. Um, pointed stones, dig into it. Uh, that would be nice if he had any sturdy Pokemon, but I don't think he does. So as it is, it's gonna be residual damage. So now I've got two layers of hazards up. Um, I don't think I, oh, I do have some spinners. I have, um, that he could have gotten. He could have gotten my Drillbur, could have gotten my um, Ball Toy, but I don't think my opponent had either. So, anyway, go for the Hydro Pump in the rain, and I'm thinking it should be able to take out Cublet, and it doesn't. Cublet survives on just a teeny weeny bit of HP, and goes for the Tail Slap. I think... I can't remember... So, yeah, it, uh, so only hit two times, so it's Technician. So, uh, why Technician versus Skill Link? Doesn't Skill Link on average do more? I actually think Technician on average does more. Um, but I will place the calcs in the annotations. So now I'm just going to come Minimus, and I'm like, I'm actually kind of hoping that he's going to put me to sleep, because that would be awesome, because this thing would be fine as sleep fodder. It's already basically dead. I go for the signal beam just to get some damage off on it, uh, but it's still in regenerator range where it could switch out and be back up to full. Uh, now I go for a hydro pump, let's just get a bit more damage, and I'm like, come on, spore me, spore me. I don't think my opponent's that dumb, and indeed my opponent's not that dumb. Goes for the Giga Drain, I'm now down to 3 HP. Uh, that's fine. This thing's death fodder. I just need, I just don't want anything to get put to sleep. So he's actually going to withdraw Minimus, get the regenerator health right right on back, and Cublet's going to come right back out, just as death fodder, and it's going to die to the rocks. So sad, sad, Cublet dies. Very, very sad. Um, but it is what it is. So I went for the signal beam and it didn't really do anything. Uh, and the rain's going to stop, so um, no longer going to be faster than everything on the planet. Uh, River, my mind foo, is going to be out, and it's just going to take me out with a uh, with a fake out because why would you do anything else in this situation? I don't think I got a ghost. I only have I've only made one ghost because I refuse, I refuse, I refuse, I refuse to breed a mischievous. I hate mischievous, and uh, 
so there's a suspect test going on now in Little Cup, which I guess how Little Cup suspect tests work is you qualify and then uh, you get to vote on what you want to see banned. So if you qualify, if you qualify for the Little Cup suspect test right now, vote to ban uh, Mischievous, please. Okay, so here I made a really stupid mistake. I went for the uh, Dragon Dance, which was smart, and then I was like, oh, I didn't actually take that much damage. I can totally go for another Dragon Dance, even though, I was like, but no, he knocked off my Violate. No, that was a stupid move. So I've got Grady here, and now he's going to go for the Drain Punch, recover all of his health back, and I could have had another Dutini Sweep. Uh, I say another because I had a, a mini Dutini Sweep the last time uh, I had one of these Box Roulette matches. I love these Box Roulette matches, by the way. Um, and yeah, that was stupid. So now I got into Blake, my Arcan uh, my uh, not Arcanine, my Growlithe, uh, and he's actually going to withdraw. Uh, I am faster, and I am banded, so I could do a decent chunk. Uh, goes out into Chin Chow, which was the smart move, but I was predicting that. Uh, so Sticky Web ain't gonna... Well, actually, Sticky Web is gonna be great for Growlithe, because Growlithe, my main complaint with Growlithe last gen was that it was too slow to really pull out an effective sweep. So now I go for an Outrage, uh, locked into Outrage, and it's gonna two-hit KO uh, its, uh, its physically defensive Chin Chow. So I am thrilled! I am totally thrilled, and Angler uh, usually does work, did not do work today. Uh, yeah, it's, it's sad playing these matches in that way, because even when my Pokémon do great, Oh, even when, I, even my, when my team does great, my Pokémon are still failing. <laughs> On the other hand, uh, you know, even when I'm getting swept, uh, I'm my Pokémon are still succeeding. So, uh, Prendar's uh, Trace is actually a really, really awesome ability. Uh, if I locked myself into Flare Blitz, I would have had to switch out. So now I go out into Avocado. Uh, I figured this should be the best situation, especially if he goes for Thunder Wave, which he did. And I was like, yes, that was so awesome. So now I figure I can take a Tri Attack. I figure that I can take a Tri-Attack, so I go for the Swords Dance, and uh, now I'm going to find out whether I can take a Tri-Attack, hoping I don't get the what, one third chance of Freeze, Para, or whatever the other one is. Go for the EQ, hoping it'll take him out, and it does. So Prendar, who I was so proud of having bred, didn't actually do any work in this match. Uh, now I was going to come River, and uh, I my health is decent enough, and I'm going to be faster thanks to that Stick Web. So yeah, all these Pokémon... Sticky Web's really helping me out here. Uh, so it's going to fake out, and uh, I take that okay. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. Uh, and I'm going to be faster. And so now I'm going to go for Earthquake. I'm like, take out the take out the Mind Food. Take out the Mind Food. And it does. Uh, thanks to a crit, I will put up in the annotation to whether that crit mattered. I suspect... Uh, it's hard to say. So anyway, now IBM is going to be out. And now I am in Danger Zone because he could potentially sweep me with his IBM thanks to the Sticky Web. Uh, boosting his attack to plus two. But he does have to play smart in terms of he's got to use the priority sucker punch. Here, I figured let's just sack my avocado and in, just in case he decides to over predict my switch. So avocado goes down, but you know, got two kills. I'm very thrilled. Avocado is another Pokemon that I've never used outside of these matches and I'm never going to. Uh, I bred it actually because I was already breeding. Um, on Excadrill, which actually you're, you're also not going to see, because after I bred the Excadrill, I realized it didn't work on my team. Uh, so, long way of saying, um, it, I, no, I really have nothing to say. Um, just, it's kind of funny, I've bred all these Pokemon that I'm never going to use. So Marcel goes for the close combat, does not do enough to two-hit KO. I do have a Final Spirit if he wants to go for Spore, um, but I don't want to risk that. I mean, I maybe could take. Uh, I'm saying I maybe could three a KO, but he'd have to go for Spore rather than an actual attack. He actually did go for Spore, so that would have been a huge mistake if I'd stayed in. But he didn't, and Growlithe is fine as Sleep Fodder uh, at this point in the match. Uh, Blake is going to stay asleep, and he can't really do much to me. A Sludge Bomb, but he's not going to do too much. Oh, well, I'm not, I don't have a Violet, so actually it does a lot. Uh, I get the first turn wake. That is the biggest bit of hats in this match by far. Um, and I would have had to switch out next turn to preserve the sleep fodder, but I do take out Minimus, and that's great, and now, uh, I, he's only got one Pokemon left, and I don't care if he sucker punches me, because I'm pretty sure that, uh, even though it doesn't carry Sash and doesn't carry a Violate, I'm pretty sure Mankey can res uh, since it resists sucker punch, can survive one, as long as it doesn't, like, get a crit or something. Um, but we'll find out in a minute, so... Uh, IBM goes for the Sucker Punch, gets a second kill. Ponyard is truly an incredible Pokemon, especially if your opponent is dumb enough to set up Sticky Web. And now I'm down to my last Pokemon, Marcel, and I'm like thinking, 
I just don't know whether I can take the sucker punch. And I do on seven. So had he gotten the crit, that would have been just enough to KO. But he didn't get the crit, and I take it out with a close combat, because why the hell not? Um, and that is the end of the battle. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this match. If you want some free little, little cup Pokemon and a battle, um, just send me a message. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.